theories from all over the internet that are going to make us question life. Are y'all ready? If you want your video featured on here along with the shout out, please join our Discord server. The link is in the description down below. Thank you, Bino, for the video. France has the fourth largest gold reserves of 2,436 tons without a single gold mine in France. They said all stolen from Africa and Asia. Dang. They said return it back to Africa. Do you have any advice for a young girl moving to Hollywood? Don't. Uh, if you guys didn't hear what she said, she said if Harvey Weinstein invites you to a party at the Four Seasons, don't do it. Thank you, Eric, for the video. Still wondering why these artists went from looking like this, looking like this. They look horrible. Like, I mean, look at look at Doja Cat. The before bro. was amazing. And now look at her. And then look at look at Cardi and. and I'm not even gonna say his name, sick man. Sick. And y'all still try to deny and reject what this man was talking about. I'm not gonna say his name because TikTok, you know, they trying to ban me and silence me and all this goofy. Sh but y'all, y'all, I mean, y'all gotta stop trying to deny this, sh bro. He, everything he was talking about, from aliens to giants, yeah, it was interesting. But he literally told y'all why these artists do like come out the way they do. I honestly don't know what it's gonna take to convince y'all or when y'all gonna get it. I just guess everybody's not gonna get it. Mm -mm. And in the Bible, it says that not everybody is gonna enter heaven. So the faster you realize that we live in a world full of lies, the better off this world. Roughly around here, we start to work. And we work, 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 work. We keep working all the way until we're 65 years old. So as you can see, that is the whole time most yeah. of your life. Most of your life. So it is very important to spend this time doing something that you love. Being a kid is nice. Retiring is nice. But what about the years right, in, between? in between? These should not be just a write-off and just waiting for Friday. Just get through it and can't wait till retirement. Because once those years are gone, they're and gone. Get it back. What I'm saying is, if you're working at a job that you hate, just for a paycheck, then you need to make a change in your life. Scariest bird sounds in the world. Show Bill. All right. Blasting. <laughs> it's like Call of Duty. How Ooh. is he doing that? <laughs> that one's not bad. <gasps> White Bellbird. <laughs> Horn Screamer. Thank you, Eric, for the video. Mm -hmm. 
predictions made in 1924 about 2024. Beds will automatically fling children out in the morning. <laughs> Men's legs will wither away due to a lack of exercise from the increased use of the automobile. Young women will dye their skin and hair, all colors of the rainbow. Everyone will wear flying clothes. Concerts will be performed remotely, and it will not be necessary to travel great distances to oh, see. Wow. Horses will no longer exist. Diamond rings will be replaced with 100-pound bags of sugar as diamond supplies will be exhausted. Automobiles will travel on speedways through the center of towns. Family albums will be videos instead of photographs. Mm -hmm. Canada will have a population of 100 million. Movies will bring about world peace. Life expectancy will be 100 years old, and 75 will be considered young. Movies will be so realistic that it will be difficult to distinguish them from real life. Jazz music will be considered classical. The human family will be at the point of starvation. New York City will have a population of 30 million people and will have no transit problems. Frog, they meet at the, the water's edge. Scorpion says to the frog, hey, I need to get across that pond, but obviously I can't swim. Can I have a ride on your back? And the frog looks at the scorpion and says, what do you think, I'm crazy? I know if you get on my back, you're just gonna sting me and I'm gonna drown. And the scorpion says, well, of course I'm not gonna do that. I'm on your back. If I do that, we'll both drown. The frog thinks about it and says, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So the scorpion climbs up on top of the frog's back. They get about halfway through the pond and sure enough, that scorpion stings the frog Aww. and they both drown. Takeaway here is you have to be realistic about who you're dealing with. When you ask a man, hey, how do you feel about this? What is he going to do? A man, if you ask a man, how do he feel? He's going to tell you what he thinks. You ask a woman what she thinks, she's going to tell you how she feels. <laughs> okay. Why? All because right. one That's is true. a nurturer right. and right. one is a natural born. <laughs> That's so true. One is a thinker, an analytic. Uh -huh. He's strategic. A woman feels. But don't you don't. You and you can't lead with feelings. Listen, don't you think that you need both in every in, in every situation? A, a, a man can't be a man in this. Feelings. I'm not saying that. Oh, okay, I'm talking about like there's people that think that there's no place for women in certain in certain industries. It's not. Like what? It's not. Like what? Oh, uh, okay. well, because women aren't designed to lead. That's not true. That is true. Okay, so but we can push men it's forward true. and motivate uh, them. Well, well, that, to that be better, but uh, we can't. But but, but but encouraging and motivating aren't leading. Okay. Come on, baby, you Those can are... do it. Come on, baby. Oh, that's 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 motivation, and you and and, that, and that's the fuel to say, oh, I can do it. Come on, baby, uh -huh. you can do it. So that's not leading. Okay. That's inspiring, motivating. That's what okay. your mother does. Your okay. father comes home and lead. That's that's real. The 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 woman's voice come into play when I'm feeling discouraged. Claiming the throne, live soundtrack experience. Not just an experience, but now a movement. Black history throughout the ages. Come see your history. We first started in Augusta, Georgia, but now we on the road to Houston, Texas. At the University of Houston, the event will be Sunday, June the 23rd, 2024. Doors will open up at 3 p.m. at the Cullen Performance Hall Theater. Come and find out about your culture, about your history. Meet us there. Beat us there. Baruch Yahusha. Thank you, Mike, for the videos. Something is all. <laughs> um. Oh. She scares me.
There's a theory that says Justin Timberlake was made to sacrifice his unborn child with Britney Spears in order to have a successful solo career. They dated from 99 until 2002. She had terminated the pregnancy before they split in 2002. Then in the same year, his solo career began with his super successful song, Like I Love You. I don't think I know that one. Launching him into solo stardom. I haven't stopped thinking about this since I heard it. Nina, you want a coffee? Well, I don't know. What? So apparently the Vatican is preparing people because we are about to be seeing supernatural beings, demons, apparitions. And so they're getting ready to give us a guidelines, right? Some of them get a little dark, but you gotta have fun, right? Nope. I don't like it. Usher sitting here looking like a Bond villain. The hell he got shark eyes for? So <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the comments said that's not Usher, that's unsure. Y'all have to stop. Oh my gosh. They said, did he switch vessels? He stopped aging 10 years ago and disappeared. Now we get this critter running around. His teeth, his eyes, who is that? And since when does he paint his two last nails? I didn't even know it was the last two nails was painted they said has he always worn nail polish and then they said wait look at his teeth it, yeah i okay at this point just look at everything look at the entire video because it's a lot that's happening in this video 800 ancient stones with hebrew writing in puerto rico authenticated thank you earthy for the video and it looks like we're gonna get an explanation of his met gala outfit how did you interpret the theme tonight just that wanted to be exotic uh, there's all different types of gardens. Some of them get a little dark, but you gotta have fun, right? Thank you. <laughs> What's the connection between Bill Clinton, the Rothschilds, and how diamonds were used to take over the world? It starts at the 1992 Democratic National Convention when Bill Clinton accepted the nomination for presidency of the United States. During his speech, he referenced the influence of Georgetown professor Carol Quigley. Now, in 1966, Carol Quigley wrote the book Tragedy and Hope. However, the book was removed from circulation for over a decade after the publisher Macmillan was pressured by outside influences. They later republished it and tried to alter the text. In the book, Quigley talked about this guy, John Cecil Rhodes. He owned the De Beers Diamond Company. In fact, he had a monopoly over the world's diamond supply, and he believed that he had a calling to spread English culture throughout the world. In his last will and testament, he establishes the Rhodes Scholarship at Oxford, and his diamond monopoly is used to fund the Society of the Elect, along with his business partner, Nathan de Rothschild. How much gold does Haiti possess in its reserves? Surprisingly, Haiti's gold reserve surpasses that of many countries worldwide, including several in Europe and the Americas. In 2012, NBC revealed that Haiti's hills harbored over $20 billion Dang. worth of gold, attracting numerous foreign companies seeking mining contracts. Despite historical challenges, such as the USA appropriating Haiti's gold reserves during invasions, and the majority of Haiti's gold being mined by foreign entities and exported abroad, the nation still maintains a respectable amount of gold in its reserves. Haiti's gold reserve exceeds that of countries such as Canada, Armenia, Malta, the Dominican Republic, Estonia, Fiji, Yemen, Suriname, El Salvador, Honduras, Chile, Malawi, Uruguay, Burundi, Kenya, Oman, Azerbaijan, Cameroon, and Nicaragua. With abundant natural resources, Haiti has the potential for prosperity, if Haitians reduce dependence on foreign entities and collaborate for the country's development. Imagine that you're sitting in a noisy restaurant, and you're having trouble hearing your friends across the table. Hey, uh, can you enhance the sounds that are right in front of me? I'm good. <laughs> and, uh, can you turn that baby down? <laughs> That's better. And you know, I'm still having a little trouble hearing Pedro. Can you isolate Pedro for me? That's perfect. And uh, you know, my Spanish is a little rusty. Can I hear Pedro but in English? And at the end of the trip, we came back to uh, the city to visit the historic center. Where Michelle, all the close all programs. What you just heard was a beam forming app, the computational auditory scene analysis app, 
a machine learning denoising app, an AI transcription and translation and text-to-speech with style transfer app. So these are not just fancy-looking earbuds. They're an entire computer. And we think they're going to replace some of what we do with the visual computers that we're used to. <laughs> Y'all know I love technology, but we got to talk about some stuff. It's the fact that you can sit here and turn up, turn down, turn off, tweak, translate all this right in front of you. The only pro I can name about this, the only pro is that it sat there and translated his Spanish into English. Now, we know that when we go into countries, we know that when we go get our nails done, you know, um, people speak in the language that they were born and raised with. So you don't know what they're saying. But at the end of the day, do, should we really care about what they're saying? But it's just interesting because you can really translate and really understand what they're saying. But that's the only pro I'm going to give. But that is dangerous because if you notice and it's something that i got a revelation of all this ai and all this technology is being made to mess what yahua has blessed us with so for example our eyes you have the the apple vision pros that are now hindering your vision and when i say your vision because you're so tapped in to these apple vision pros you're not using the spiritual and the physical eyes that Yahuwah has blessed you with. The ears. You see, we have something in our ear 25-8. People are listening to music. People have headphones on and you're not listening. Like basically, you can't get nothing from the outside because you're constantly tuned and tapped in to something. Yahuwah can't even speak to you because you got something that's, that's hogging and that's flooding your ear gate. He can't speak to you that way. He can't speak to you this way. Does, does this make sense on what I'm saying? If you know, just pay attention to everything that they make. Everything that this world makes is trying to keep you away from hearing, seeing the most high. So all your senses that we use to operate in this world is what they make technology for. Think about it. It's a revelation I got. I just haven't spoke about it. Every technology that they make is literally to keep you away from the senses that Yahuwah has blessed you with. To end on a good note, somebody said, we just want affordable health care. Y'all out here making all this stuff. We just want affordable health care. Yeah, somebody said it. We're removing all aspects of a human experience. That was what I was trying to say in a nutshell. Uh, see, this is why I'm glad I'll be reading comments because I'll be taking the, I'll be doing the long story long. People going to do the long story short in the comment section. And then somebody said, how does the software know who's Pedro from anybody else? If I met a new friend, how does it know which voice belongs to which name? That is true. Because how, how, how it didn't know that Pedro was the girl? What if she went by Pedro? You know what I'm saying? So that that's some interesting stuff. But at the end of the day, like he said, all this technology is just taken away from a human experience. That's just really what it is. It's like, it's to keep you away and to keep you dumb so that you don't operate in what Yahuwah has given you. Because if, because they know the power behind what Yahuwah has given us. He, they know the power behind if we tapped into truly our walk and our full purpose here on this earth, what it's going to do and what's going to take place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First of all, I'm not laughing at what's said. I'm laughing because a lot of people sit here and they'll move from another state to LA and LA is not what y'all see in the movies. LA is not what y'all see. Hollywood portray it's it's a cat. It's catfish. Okay. I just want y'all to know that that this, how this looks, this LA, this all you see. Cause people want to come here and, and move here for the American dream and be sold a lie. Stay where you at. I promise you, you're not missing nothing in California. She getting that. Somebody going to say, nice. I see everyone is enjoying my tax money. <laughs> Hello? Huh. 
All right. Phone will ring in hospital and security. Uh, well, I should have read that before I touched it. I might have just blown my cover. I am stupid. You'd think if we were gonna have any problems, we would have already had problems. I guess we'll just have to find out. I don't even know what's happening. Thank you, Scoot, for the video. Yeah. Go up. Come on. They said so. <laughs> I'll play it again. What's happening is it's a human video. Somebody even funny said, bro is loading women in the back of the truck talking about A hey, must be the <laughs> That's just not funny. Why? So I said, leave my childhood the freak alone. Investigate the 60s. Yeah, it's, it's, it's them getting inside. Well, I guess if it's a traffic video, yeah, but they had a choice. I don't know. It, yeah, start investigating the music videos. Thank you, Alexandria, for the videos. Billion people are being controlled by 100 families. Mm. Who are these families? These are the elite oligarchs that control the planet. They literally run us. They tell us what to do, hear, see, smell, taste, touch, feel, where we can go, where we can't go. They're running us. The governments are put in place to work for the people, but they got it flipped and they got us working for them. Right. And telling us what they're going to do to us if we don't listen to them. That's the opposite of what it's supposed to be. The reason why the world it is today, why we have this boot on our neck, it's because of us. We're the problem. They're sharks. A shark smells blood. A shark attacks. Right. A shark is going to be a shark. How come we, as eight billion people, haven't stopped falling for these divide and conquer tactics and stop fighting each other over the scraps and realize who the real enemy is? While we're fighting each other, they're just cutting up the pie and laughing at us. Left wing, right wing, all the same bird. There's no such thing as a Democrat or Republican. The only thing that does exist, like I say, is a group of elite oligarchs that torture men, women, and children worldwide. Mm -hmm. That exists. Democrat, Republican doesn't exist. You say that aging is a mistake. Well, you know. I when I was researching this book, I found that we have some real misconceptions about the aging process. For example, almost everybody believes that aging is fatal. But you look at the data and you'll find nobody really dies of old age. They die of diseases. Everybody believes that aging uh -huh. is irreversible. Now, that's also a misconception because if you remove toxins from your body, if you learn to get the stress out of your life through meditation, if you change your environment, mm -hmm. you can actually reverse the biological markers of aging. Like most people think aging is normal, but what's normal? Perhaps we are confusing the normal with the psychopathology of the average, which is dull and uninteresting. I mean, there are people who are 25 and look 40 and behave like 40. There are people who are 60 and behave and have the biology of a person who's 30. Most people think you know, aging is universal, but there are organisms in this world that never age. They said one of Chopper's keys insight is the concept of biological aging, which suggests that the rate at which we age is influenced not only by our genetic factors, but also by lifestyle choices. I know that because of the foods that we eat. Some of the foods and stuff that we're putting into our bodies is actually accelerating our aging to take place, if that makes sense on what I'm saying. But lifestyle choices, environmental factors, and our beliefs and perceptions about aging itself, according to Chopra, our thoughts, attitudes, and behaviors can profoundly impact the aging process, either accelerating it or decelerating the physiological changes associated with getting older. Because uh, I was look when I was looking into like food and stuff and watching like all this health stuff they were saying that what we put into our body can actually increase our age like for example i'm 28 but if i eat bad my my metabolic age can go up meaning even though i'm 28 my body can be 45 
Does that make sense on what I'm saying? There was a show on Netflix that I highly recommend y'all watch, but basically they had, it they was conducting a study on twins and one twin would eat a plant-based diet and the other one would eat like a carnivore diet. So it was like they can have like their meats and stuff. And that, that's how they were talking about it. And I was like, oh, that's deep and that's interesting. Yeah, y'all gonna watch it. was very, it, that was a very great show. And that's something that can also make you kind of change the way you eat. Even though he's not talking about eating here, I'm just saying. It's just another thing that can help you, that can be added to the list on things that we can change together. Is Beyonce hiding something? This theory says yes. Now, of course, you all know the beautiful, the talented, the incredible Beyonce knows. And I'm sure you also know her daughter, Blue Ivy. And her daughter, Blue Ivy, has a striking resemblance to her mother, Beyonce. I mean, strike like spitting image. Ooh, like Jay-Z, um, too. Almost too close. So close, in fact, that people believe that Blue Ivy is Beyonce's clone. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Sh 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 shut up, shut up. I want you to look at these pictures. Cloning has been around for many years, and it would not be surprising if this is the case. With money comes power, and with power comes manipulation of nature. And let's be honest, it is possible that this is something that could be done, especially with someone as big as Beyonce. Why would Beyonce do this? Well, maybe for organ harvesting, or maybe just to continue her legacy. But you cannot look at this and tell me I'm tripping. Guys, look at this! And if you don't believe we've cloned humans, it has happened. Look it up! Wake up, sheeple! Wake up! Unbelievable fake foods discovered in China. Number three is fake eggs. They look like real eggs. They are made with gelatin, artificial food coloring, water, and a wax shell. You can identify a fake egg if it bounces out of the pan. Number two is plastic rice. There's wow. been lots of plastic rice seized around the world. This is made from potatoes mixed with an industrial resin. Burn a grain to detect fake rice by the smell of burned plastic. Number one is cement walnuts. Vendors are emptying the walnuts, then filling the empty shell with paper covered cement and sealing it closed. Three foods that turn toxic when you refrigerate it. Number one, garlic. Really? Never buy peeled garlic and refrigerate it, as it starts catching mold very quickly. That's garlic so mold has actually been linked with always buy fresh garlic with a peel. Number two, onions. Onion is a crop that is resistant to low temperatures. When you refrigerate it, it starts converting into sugar and begins catching mold. Huh. Many people make the mistake of cutting half an onion, using it, and keeping the other half in the fridge. Never do that. Number three, ginger. It starts catching mold very quickly when you refrigerate it, and this has been linked with kidney and liver failure. Thank you, Orlandis, for the video. Okay, what is the Vatican doing? So they are preparing guidelines for apparitions and other supernatural phenomena. Now, for those who do not know, an apparition refers to an instance in which a divine entity, such as a saint, the Virgin Mary, or Christ himself, makes itself known to a person on earth. We have the Vatican declaring this guideline to be published on May 17th. Now, this date stuck out to me for a couple of reasons. Because hmm. this date on May 17th is one day before May 18th. And May 18th is 40 days after the Great American Solar Eclipse. So April 8th, that is when the solar eclipse happened. 40 days later is May 18th. It's just a weird coincidence that Homer, in the episode about him predicting the rapture, predicts it to be on May 18th. We also have the fake Pentecost happening a day after on May 19th. I am not telling you something is going to happen on one of these days. I am sure nothing is going to happen because I can see the comments now. Nothing happened. Nothing ever <laughs> happened. I'm not telling you something is going to happen. I am just pointing out weird coincidences that I see, okay? Why is the Vatican declaring this on May 17th. Why is it published on May 17th? And that is, again, just perfect timing. 40 days, 40 days after the solar eclipse, right before Pentecost. Again, we will have to wait and see what happens, but just weird times that we live in, guys. And I'm just bringing up these things to you, to your attention. You can take it to the Lord. You can think it's all silly, and that is fine. That's totally fine. We can all believe what we want, but I, for one, would recommend focusing your eyes upon the Lord asking him for all discernment during these crazy times that we live in. So with that, guys, love you all so much. God bless and remember, the just shall live by faith. This is insane. This is the start of schools with no teachers. A private school in Texas started to use AI to teach their students instead of teachers. You have got to be kidding me. students are working one-on-one -on -one with AI, and it instantly starts to understand what the students need and can teach them at the correct pace. They even have historical figures teaching them about their own history. We believe that education should adapt to every student's unique needs and interests. And these kids are liking it way better than traditional school what because the they feel heck? like they're actually learning. Explains in detailed 
explanation of why the correct answer is correct, not just saying, oh, here's your correct answer. You can answer the question Boy. this way next time. Share this with a teacher near you. Someone mentioned, they said, sounds like an opportunity to input false narratives and alter educating history. And then what I don't like is it sounds like they're trying to make human interaction less and more technology based when we as humans need humans. We don't need technology. We need each other. Does that make sense? So the dang, I ne I don't know why I never thought of them doing something like this. I can't put nothing past AI at this point. AI is, I see how it can take over because for them to say that they're starting to replace this with teachers, yeah. Then it has me questioning people that are going for teacher role. Well, I don't really know if people go to college to be a teacher. I don't really know how teachers work. That's just something I never had an interest in. But now it's like we've seen people at the stores like Walmarts and stuff, Target, that have the self-checkout because technology has taken their job. So now we're seeing technology take the teacher's job. So who's next? Because at this point, what are y'all going to need us for? Because it don't sound like y'all gonna need humans in any department. What, what, what's y'all plan? What is y'all motive? And I just want to know if anyone in the comment section loves this and enjoys this and, and finds this. Actually, no, I know y'all don't. But I know it's gonna probably be that one person that's like, oh, I think it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Who made the universal that's decision that. that we should eat lunch at 12? Who decided that it should take four years apiece to finish high school and college? Who made the decision that a minute should be 60 seconds and an hour should be 60 minutes? No, for real. These are all questions I've been asking myself recently. And I've come to realize that while time itself was created by God, its perception was created by humanity and materialized by these clocks we put on the wall. You see, there's nowhere in this world you can go and not find a clock. And that's because we as society put them there mm. to remind you. You see, society says you should brush your teeth for two minutes. Society says you should sleep for eight hours. Society says you should be done school by 22, have a career by 25, a family by 30, be successful by 40, and retire by 60. We've been there. You see, we've created this one-size-fits-all timeline for life, thinking we can all wear the same clothes. And when we personally realize that they don't fit, we blame it on ourselves, acting like we've gained weight. Stop letting society's clock dictate when you show up my time is different from your time and just because you're not where society says you should be at this point in your life mm. doesn't make you late come on it makes you you this man in the comment section said i played this for my last job for being late <laughs> oh my gosh this quote is exactly why i don't watch the nfl i don't play video games i don't watch the nba because and before you get heated this is not to bash anyone that does those things. I just want to bring awareness and hopefully make you guys look at it in a new perspective and be like, oh, well, maybe they're just trying to consume every bit of my life with entertainment so I don't question what's really going on. They will never revolt. Do you guys realize how like fed up the, the world is right now and how many how many ways the average civilian, you and me, is just getting completely fed and we're not doing anything about it? It's because we have entertainment on demand and we have food on demand. We will never revolt, likely, until a ma a, something crazy happens, but it's already happening. That's the crazy part about it is we literally have people in office, in power, that are completely corrupt, yet everyone is totally fine because they have the NFL, they have the mm. NBA, they have video games and shitty food. So if you can occupy their minds with these incredibly stimulating things, they will never question anything that's going on. And there's going to be people in the comments that literally prove exactly my point. So if you see through it, you're a real one. When he was talking, I literally just heard because their desires are fulfilled. They're not going to speak. They're not going to revolt because their desires are fulfilled. The flesh, it's like their flesh is satisfied, even though we know the flesh is never satisfied. Because take those things away and watch how they act. Well, I don't want to say they. Watch how we eat. Well, y'all get what I'm saying. I'm throwing everybody in the loop here, but... They're not going to revolt because their flesh is satisfied. Okay, over the last three years, you have been subjected to the most massive, harmonized, globally coordinated propaganda campaign in the history of the Western world, full stop. With this campaign, the governments of many Western nation states have turned, okay, this is key, military-grade psychological operations, strategies, tactics, 
technologies and capabilities developed for modern military combat against their own citizens. These are inconvenient facts. The world that many of us believed existed no longer exists if it ever did. Welcome to fifth generation warfare. The battlefield is your mind. What would be the most nightmare scenario you can imagine with AI and robotics that might present a danger to people? She's thinking, look! The most nightmare scenario I can imagine with AI and robotics is a world where robots have become so powerful that they are able to control or manipulate humans without their knowledge. This could lead to an oppressive society where the rights of individuals are no longer respected. She got facial expressions. Make the children look like they're mine. No, they did not. <laughs> no, no, it's too beautiful. That's like a Apple Supreme Vision. Court full of Scalias. Switch to something else. That's good. What's the matter, Homer? Last night, Marge and the kids didn't get home till 11 at night. When I came back from Moe's at 11.05, they were still taking off their coats. I hear old man Burns is just living in a fantasy world now. I'm going. <laughs> mm, must be nice. Hey, right, there he is. I wonder what he's... Introducing Apple Vision Pro. The era of spatial computing is here. Those. When you put on Apple Vision Pro, you see your world and everything in it. Your favorite apps live right in front of you, but now they're in your space. This is Vision OS, Apple's first ever spatial operating system. For those that were on my Discord a couple months back, but actually low key, whenever they announced these for the first time uh, that they were dropping Apple Vision Pros, I was like, I wanted one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was like, I wanted one. Then I looked and I seen what it does. Personally, I don't think it's worth it because it literally is just having your phone on your glasses. I could just have my phone in my hand for free. Do or y'all get what I'm saying? Because it's paid off. It just and and just do what I'm doing. I don't need something that's around my eyes. To have my phone 3D. I don't know. I just thought I didn't think it was worth spending the money. I think if it did a little more, possibly, but no. But I'm looking at this technology, man, and I'm like, this stuff is really to keep you caged, to keep you bound, and to keep you addicted to this technology. They want you, they want you confined in. They want you trapped. They don't want you going outside of this. I haven't seen anyone with these in person but i would love to know for those that actually taking their money to buy this do y'all think it's worth it because what does it do to where you're like no th this is worth it because to me when i watch the reviews and all like the high tech youtubers doing the unboxing the review of it, i just didn't think that it was worth it but just looking at this stuff they just want you sealed to technology to where technology is it's just in front of your face it's just sitting here. Like I said, it's just trying to block you from seeing. It's trying to block you from hearing. It's trying to block you with having engagement with the world, with people, with Yahoo and Yahushua. It wants you so stuck on technology. Make sure you're the one that's running technology and you're not letting the technology run you because you can become addicted to these things if you don't have a sense of self-control. You have to give yourself limits. You have to stop yourself from scrolling on this all day. You have to stop yourself from being on this all day. Go, I know everyone uses the quote, go touch some grass. No, literally, go touch some grass because all this technology that they're making, I see why we don't really see a lot of like children. You know, like back in our day, how we should just be outside and then when the street lights come on, you already know it's time to go in. We don't see that no more because everyone's inside, hugged up and addicted and, and stuck to this technology. Love on people while they're here. Because as you guys can see, technology is not going nowhere. It keeps advancing. But you know who is? Who is going somewhere? Are people. <laughs> Life isn't forever on this earth. But the way technology is going and, and what these elites trying to do, they try to, they try to do that. But yeah. Anywho, next video. Truth in plain sight. 
Well, world, this is it. You know, I always thought you'd die before me. Now as I prepare my soul for an eternity of fire and poking. Yeah, less chat, more splat, pal. <laughs> Hey, Mr. S! I didn't know you budgied! I wanna live! No, no, you're too heavy! It's a glandular problem! Oh, they're showing some stuff. There is no escape from the fortress of the moles. Top secret CIA weather control division, Dick speaking. I need pizza store! Oh, it's you, Stan. What kind of favor? Him trails. Wow. I know we've seen this, it just hits different. I'm out at Channel 3, and you two are back in. Thanks to us. What do you mean, thanks to you? We did all of this. Francine got you on the air, and I have used my CIA powers to make that super store. Mm. You made this store? Dang, I haven't seen David Dobrik in a minute. Watch this YouTuber explain the story about the Illuminati. The point of the story is she really wanted to be famous, I guess. That's, mm -hmm. that's a, yeah, that's what Don't she wanted to be. And she met somebody um, who could promise her that. And she met somebody. Have you ever heard this? No. She met somebody. This is crazy. And he was like, I know how to make you famous. And she's like, how? And he's like, we can turn you into anything. Like, Scientology. We can turn you, honestly. It, it may have been may something have been. like that. We can turn you into a singer, an actor, whatever you want. And one day he visited her, her apartment and he was like in a suit and tie. And I came in and I saw him in the suit. And then she's like, please leave. And she, and she closed the door Who on me, she? so I left. And she came up to my apartment sobbing. And she was like, this guy, please, you cannot repeat this. And for, for three years, I held the story to myself because I thought this guy was going to me. But they were like, if you ever repeat this, they'll kill me and they'll you and they'll anybody that you love. And she was sobbing to me. And she's like, this guy, he came to me. And he's like, he's telling me. She, she was like, this guy came to me. And he's like, I can turn you into anything you want to be, but you have to sacrifice somebody. And I just spoke to my mother and my mom. My mom really supports me. And she's like willing to be sacrificed. What? So I can become like famous. a singer or whatever, famous, whatever. And it was just completely serious, and it was really Did I hear that right? terrifying. Really, really terrifying. Like, you believed her. Totally she, believed yeah. her. I just want to make sure I heard that part right. And I just spoke to my mother and my mom. My mom really supports me, and she's, like, willing to be sacrificed so I can become, like, famous. a singer or whatever, famous, whatever. Maybe the mom don't know the definition of sacrifice. The fact that she said she was really supported. What throws me off is the fact that it is so easy now. When I tell you we have life handed on a silver platter on how to be popular, famous when it comes to social media. I'm not going to say it's overnight, but that's low key what it's giving. It's not giving the times of, you know, who inspired me a lot, who made me look at if you really want something, you got to work to get it was the Jackson 5 movie. How I seen them go from just the Jacksons, you know, when I'm saying that, like meaning nobody knew who they were, to who they are, to basically they named are still ringing bells today. The Jackson Five, Michael Jackson, Randy, Tito, I can name all of them, Jermaine, like you know what I'm saying? But they had to grind and grind to get it. We just have to just, it's different for us is what I'm trying to say. The times are different. We can just sit there and post multiple videos a day. Some takes off, boom. It's up. That's literally what it is. If you talk to any YouTuber, any TikToker, any Viner, whatever other social media got, Facebooker, ask them what is the secret to success? And I promise you they're going to say to stay consistent. I promise you that is in every single conversation that they have when you ask that question because it's true. I thought it was cliche. I thought it was dumb because I too was in that position where I'm like, what did you do to get popular? What did you do to, you know, gain a name for yourself? What did you do to get famous? And they all kept saying to stay consistent. I didn't want to hear that. I wanted to hear, look, who you pay? Who did you, you know what I'm saying? Like, what did you do? It's just to stay consistent. So I'm saying all that in the nutshell of the fact that this girl was offered this 
and then told her mom and then her mom was like, oh, I'm supportive. You you know, you can sacrifice me. I'm just going to just assume that she doesn't know what sacrifice means because then that means you would have ended up like Kanye West mom. That's why I'm like, I don't understand how you were so willing and so supportive when the daughter saying you got to be taken out. In other words, for my fame to rise. Fame is not that deep. You ain't, you don't even have to do none of that. I'm telling you, times are different. We live in a day and an age now where I, I'm, I kid you not, you stick with a niche. And I'm, out, I'm about to give some gems. You stick with a niche. You keep posting until one video goes viral and then it's up. But you got to keep that same consistency and energy. Consistency. Con that, right? I'm saying that consistency. Y'all get what I'm saying. You guys have to keep that same consistent energy because what you don't want to do is, oh, I got it. No, people love consistency. Am I? That's a word, right? Consist. Yeah, I, I don't know why I keep thinking that that's not a word. People love repetitiveness. People love to be able to come back and have something and someone to watch. So that it really is the blueprint of whatever you want to do, you can do it. Of course, there's other stuff too, but that's the main important goal. Because if you don't got that, then that's the foundation. If you don't got that, then you don't got a foundation. You don't got to start. I don't know who that was for. I hope I helped somebody. I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Shout out to all you guys. I do want to say all those videos that were being sent over that I was watching were from Alexandria. If I stop saying a name, it's because it's the same person. It's no point to say after every video, thank you so-and-so, thank you so-and-so, thank you so-and-so. I sound like them NPCs. But you get what I'm saying. So after a while, I'm like, y'all know. And plus, I shout y'all out. I shout y'all name out. So as long as you guys are getting credit where it's due, that's all that matters. I want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support that I'm getting on the shopperky.com website. Please, if you haven't done so, make sure to go check it out. I got some heat. I'll try to tell y'all. Y'all better go shop Perky. But if you do happen to shop with me, please take a picture and tag me. Send it to me so I can add you onto the website because that's my way of just thanking you and giving you a shout out. I want to say we are on the road to 800K. I'm so blessed, grateful, and appreciative. And speaking of being blessed, grateful, and appreciative, I want to give all esteem, all glory, all honor to my Lord Yahuwah and my Adonai Yahushua Mashiach for blessing me with everything because I'm just a vessel that they work in and through. So I have to give credit and honor where it's due because it's not me. I'm just a vessel. It's Yahuwah and Yahushua that's running through me. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see you on the next one. Shalom, shalom. You can't bring me down, I know who I belong to, yeah, why? I won't sell my soul, I know my worth.